I be that young rapping dude, might just trap with you. Coming with the thunder, baby, might just snap your crew. I roll out in the morning light with that Harley bike, all black. I'm the party type, and it's on tonight. I just step to no weapons, but my outfit might take your soul. See my presence impressive, got strippers slipping off the poles. I just whip, then I swerve and wish you would. I'm Timmy Turner, turned her to a carnivore. Now she treat me like a burger. I don't know the name. Hey, what's up, guys? Dark Burger here, and in today's video, we are playing Vein Jungle because NA pro players are using Vein Jungle in pro matches, in tournaments, and I was like, wait a second, what the fuck are they doing? Why are they doing this? So I've decided to try it out in a ranked match, and you guys will see how it's gonna turn out. But, anyways, for the item build. We are running Blade of the Rune King, Charge Blade, Infinity Edge, Wits End, and Phantom Dancer. Not you, you actually don't necessarily need Phantom Dancer to be fair. You could uh, also go Trinity maybe if you guys want to. I think that's also an amazing item. Um, but yeah, Blade of the Rune King gives you attack damage, attack speed, and physical vamp. You also do additional damage uh, based on their current HP. And your stealing movement speed in combination with the second ability, uh, Blade of the Rune King, one of the main main core items. The, thir the first three items are core items, you build them no matter what, and the other two items are situational. Charge Blade makes Vayne broken, uh, crit rate, attack speed, ability haste, super super amazing on her. And every time you use an ability, for example the tumble, you get additional crit rate and additional bonus magical damage onto the opponent. Then Infinity Edge, Attack Damage, Crit Rate, and Critical Strikes deal 30% more damage. Those three are a must-have. Um, I like to go... Actually, I copied the top one build. The top one build from Vayne. I think that's pretty solid. He goes for Lifesteal Boots, actually, in combination with Quicksilver Slash for crowd control. You can also go Stasis. Usually, I like to go Stasis on ADCs. Z, for example, maybe Rengar, any... You can dodge so so much stuff like Camille Ultimate, Stasis, uh, Stasis, much more useful than Quicksilver. I never go Quicksilver to be fair. Which ends, I think when they have magical damage, this is really, really amazing. And even if they don't have that much magical damage, this is pretty good. It gives you attack damage, uh, attack speed, magic resistance, and all of your auto attacks are going to do additional magical damage. And if you're below 50% HP, Dealing damage to enemy champions heals you um, range 33% of this effect's post-mitigation damage. So this is actually decent amount. So 33% of 80 bonus magical damage um, for how long? Oh, oh, I guess whenever you're below. Okay, I see. When you're, whenever you're below 50%. So when you're low level, you actually heal quite a decent amount. Other options could be... I guess some people would go Navari's Quick Blades. But I think that's overkill. You don't need that item. I would probably go for Trinity. Trinity on Vayne is actually busted, by the way. Every time you use your Tumble, you activate Spellblade. And you will do additional damage with a Spellblade for every auto attack. And stat-wise, HP, um, attack damage, attack speed, ability is amazing. All of, all of those stats are amazing for Vayne. This is actually a really, really, really strong item on Vayne. I don't know, but some people underestimate it. You could also go for Death Dance if you guys want more sustain, to be honest. Life, Steal, HP, Ability Haste, and Cauterize. Definitely viable. And obviously Phantom Dancer, Crit Rate, Attack Speed, and the Passive Movement Speed plus... Uh, lifeline similar to Sterox Gauge. So the combination of Phantom Dancer and Wits End when you're low life below 50% is actually very good. So you have the Lifeline passive and the Wits End um, healing passive. Let's commit for the item build. La Obviously you could also go for Guardian Angel instead like this for example. Or you go Trinity Guardian Angel. That's a very very solid build as well. The main important things are the main important thing are the three first items the core items anything else just switching them up again conqueror 
must have brutal for the early game jungle clear speed hunter's titan hp tenacity mastermind extra damage on turrets and objectives um i mean monsters and you get extra gold which is really really good but yeah let's quit let's hop right into the game okay let's get started Um, starting with the first ability, maxing, oh actually, you start with, like I was talking with Vex about the best starting order, you can start either first ability or second ability, I think it doesn't matter too much. And you max the second ability, you max the second ability, then the first ability, then the third ability. A tip I can give you is, option 1 you kite the buff, so you take less damage, and later on if you don't want or uh, later on if you guys want to do more damage and you you're like you have enough life steal that it doesn't matter if you take damage you can tumble against the wall um therefore you will reduce the attack animation and you can maximize your damage output so usually what you want to do is red blue then you go for gromp or you go for the scuttle or you try to get a gank going I think right here I see that he was overextended and that's why I wanted to gank him. I'm pinging him, go in, go in, go in, Garen, just go in, boy, get, no ward, go in. Go in. I don't know, I'm just pinging, he, he doesn't even move. Sad. Now he's flashing, but it's too late. I think, I mean, yeah, the wave is in a state where he wants to freeze. But at the same time, if he just goes in earlier, we can probably secure free first blood. I'm gonna re gank again because this guy doesn't have a uh, flash anymore. Boom. Activate second ability. And now I'm gonna just tumble flash and I get that kill. And now we're just gonna leave here. Okay, bye is here. Let's let's run away. Let's run away. Mrs. Vi is here. Miss Vi is here. I think we can kill her, actually. Bam, and we got the kill. What you can also do is third ability into auto attack. So while you're shooting them away, you can auto attack cast, and then they will take the auto attack. Right here, I'm almost level five, so I'm like, okay, we're gonna hit level five, and then we can kill her. Bam, bam, boom, we get a kill. I'm like, maybe I can even uh, attack the Mundo a bit. I'm gonna reset right here. A red buff is gonna spawn pretty soon. I think I'm gonna still take the Gromp and then I'm gonna go for the uh, red buff. Reset, get the Blade of the Room King, and then let's see. Let's see, let's see. Already three kills, and that top five was pretty good actually. We killed Vi, we killed Diana somehow. And Diana is the, uh, the mid lane now. Like, oh, we, we just bashed on them. And we are all, also have the Blade of the Room King before the next. Team fight, which might occur for Dragon or for the Herald. I actually see that the bot lane is kind of overextended, so I was like, let's uh, let's just try to gank. Maybe they have a ward though, so they're spotting me. Remember, tumble. If you shoot someone against the wall, they're getting stunned, or against the turret, for example. First ability is... Ooh. Okay, Vi is here. Let's back off. I, I really need the Lux to move, by the way. I really need her to follow me. Because we can easily win this. Boom. She just wastes the ultimate instead of using the bind. But hey, she gets the bind onto... Let's see if we can get her. She got the bind onto Vi, though. But I feel like she should have just initiated with a bind instead of using ultimate and wasting it. 
I'm not sure if I can get her. Come on! No! 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 Yikes! I waste the flash. Gonna use my condemn on the vein bomb. She's dead. Oh, actually, vice. No, she has ultimate. I'm dead. I am dead. I am very dead. Uh, one thing you need to con need to consider on Vayne is definitely uh, don't play too aggressive, don't position yourself too aggressively, try to kite um, as well as possible. So go in when you think you can, I mean a lot of people will think, oh I can go in, I'm so strong. That's the Vayne syndrome where you're like, oh I'm so overconfident. But that boils down to experience knowing when you can go in and when you can, or you should be kiting or should play more safe. But Vayne can be one of the best carries, especially late game. When you have three items, anything after three items you're so broken. So you become incredibly strong. Let's use ultimate. When you use ultimate and tumble you get invisible and you get movement speed. So it's a free kill, bam, let's go for the mundo, boom, boom, and one more auto attack, let's go. Okay, they're gonna go for the... Vi, let's see what can do here. Maybe I'm just gonna keep pushing mid lane. I could go for the Herald, but at the same time, Cloud Dragon is up. And Cloud Dragon is very important, though. I feel like I'm gonna take Red Buff, gonna reset, get some items, and then I'm gonna go for the Cloud Dragon. Actually, are they starting this though? Oh, I'm meaning. Oh, I got rooted. Okay, never mind. I'm fine. Positioning is key on Vayne. It's all about positioning. Since her range is not big, her range is not big, but her damage output can be crazy. She's also one of the best one versus one ADCs. Like in one versus one. Against melee champions, she's also broken. Oh my god, why? Oh my god. <laughs> I'm surprised I survived this. That should have ended in a death, to be fair. Pretty much. Take this. I feel like I think at this point I'm like fuck Cloud Dragon. We are not getting anywhere. I have a double um, double squishy lane in the bot lane. I have no engager, so I think right now I'm like let's just go for Harold. Let's get the free gold. I can do it solo really really quickly because the the team fights are kinda kinda hard in the bot lane since we don't have an engager. And we have Lux, so it all boils down to the Lux bind. Are they mispositioned so I can condemn them? But if I just play top side, it's easier. Since I have the front line in the top side. Looks like they're on cloud. Okay, do we fight this out though? Looks like I'm actually gonna go for it since it's full HP still, and maybe we can still win this. Okay, MF, MF ultimate very good by the way. Gonna condemn the Diana. She's almost dying. Gonna flash over to secure this kill. Slow her down with the uh, with the smite. Let's go for the Senna right here. Bam, bam, bam. She dead. And now we can just go for the cloud dragon. Actually worked out pretty well because in this case our com works really really well when they start and they're all bunched up because we have the Lux Bind, Lux Poke, Misfortune Poke and then I'm just coming in for the cleanup. So in this scenario, um, our comp is really good at poking people down while they're going for an objective but engaging ourselves or starting a team fight, um, our comp is not good.
right, let's go for the red buff. Boom, 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 boom. I think... I'm not sure if I need to use Herald for this turret. Okay, I'm just gonna use it. Condemn this... Condemn this vine. Look at the damage I'm doing. Bam! He survives. Oh my god. Sad. Look at the damage. The third auto attack is true damage on Vayne. Every third auto, auto attack is uh, true damage. And the second ability gives you um, additional attack speed. That's that's why a lot of people don't even go for armor penetration. Because you have the second ability for attack speed. You have so many crit, um, crit and attack speed items. That you will consistently do a lot of true damage onto the opponent. You have physical damage, you have ma magical damage, and you have true damage. That's why you have so much different. You have so many different types of damage, and especially true damage that you don't even need um, armor penetration. Sometimes you can still go for it, but usually you don't even need to, and you will still one shot tanks very very easily. To be fair. And condemn her right into the war. Bam, we get that kill. Let's go. Uh, so what's important? Positioning, condemn management, ultimate, using ultimate correctly, tumble positioning, using tumble during the ultimate with an invisibility correctly as well. Another condemn onto the Caitlyn, she dead. Let's go for the Senna. Bam, flashing over the war. Bam, diving under... Three turrets? But, uh, I mean two turrets and the Nexus. Yeah, yeah, Nexus. <laughs> I was like, Nexus? Fountain? Nexus? Nexus. Not sure if I can... Not sure if I can take this. I don't want to give them a shutdown. I have enough for the Inferno Terge, so let's go for it. I'm still gonna go for the Witsand. Uh, just trying this out. It's... Still decent, even if they only have one AP damage. I mean, otherwise I would go for Trinity and Phantom Dancer or Trinity Guardian Angel. Or if you guys really want, you can go for Guardian Angel right now as fourth item. They're fighting. Let's see if we can join here. Humble, let's go for the Caitlyn. Boom, boom. Condemn her into the wall. She flash. I still get her. Let's go for the Diana. Dash away from her. She's flashing. I hit. Oh, she's jumping back in. Easy, we get a kill. Let's go. Like, uh, trust me. Vayne? Bot lane. Vayne bot lane. S plus tier. She is so broken. In solo queue, she's my most hated ADC champion to play against. Like, if you, if you are Baron lane main or you are jungle, trust me, Vayne is the hardest ADC for you to kill. A good Vayne. With good positioning, when she's fat, you just lose the game. And you have so many games where the enemy bot lane is just gonna, or your own bot lane is just gonna feed. So the chance of Bane getting ahead and being super fat and then just hard carrying is so high. And if Bane Lulu is open, and they get ahead, if Bane Lulu gets ahead in the early game, it's just FF, surrender, go next. Bye bye, sayonara. Boom, let's go, got the kill.
But yeah, that's good for the gameplay. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And I see you next time. Bye bye. Fire spreading all around my room. My world's so bright. It's hard to breathe, but that's alright.